to create a executable uh, first we need to create a project let's create a project click finish let's save this project Let's create a new folder for the project. Let's name our project. Let's create first a sub VI for our main VI. Let's save the VI. Let's create the block diagram. Let's create some controls. Let's clean the code a bit. Now let's go to the front panel and create our connector pane. Let's create an icon. First, let's clear the old icon. Let's create a simple textual icon. Now, let's create a main VI. Let's save it. Let's make it uh, event based. Let's create an event.
now let's call our sub bi create control for it Let's place a chart where to show the sine wave. Let's test this VI. It seems to be working good. Now The next phase will be to create the executable. Now that we have the project ready, let's go create an executable. To do that, right click build specifications, select new application. In the My Application Properties window, enter the name of your application. Now enter a name for your executable. Select the path, write specification description if you need to, then go to the source file settings. Here our main VI is named main. Select it and press this right arrow and place the main VI in the startup VIs. We don't need to change anything here. Source file settings are fine as they are. We don't need to change anything. We can create an icon using the icon editor if we choose to. Let's save the icon to our projects file, uh, project folder. It will be saved with ICO extension.
let's clear this uh, but before we do that we will first have to include that icon in our project let's add it let's re clear this select this one okay we don't need to change anything in this part everything else seems fine let's see a preview it looks fine press ok and let's create let's choose build the lab view will launch its build status dialog the building process will start and when it's done let's go and explore the folder where the executable has been created let's check our vi exe by launching it so here is our vi running as an executable working as it was before 